how to handle asynchronous data in your Flutter app using the Stream Builder widget and create widgets that update dynamically based on the value of the stream. Let's get started. Stream Builder takes a stream and a builder function and updates the UI based on the latest snapshot of the stream. A stream is a sequence of asynchronous events that can be listened for updates. The builder function is called whenever there is a new data event in the stream. Here is an example of a stream function named getProducts that will return list of products which is same as our stream builder type. It uses a HTTP package to make an API call and then decodes the response with JSON. Here we created a list of products in which we are adding all the products we got from our API. After that first we just yield a list with single product and then wait for 4 seconds and then yield a list with 2 products that is first and last product from our products list and then wait 4 seconds again and then yield the complete products list. Here you can see we have used yield keyword to define a generator function that returns an iterator which can be used to generate a sequence of values on demand rather than generating all values at once. Now let's use our get product function in our stream builder widget. In builder function we check the connection state of the async snapshot object to determine how to update the widget. If the connection state is waiting we show a loading indicator. If the connection state is done or active we check for errors or data and update the widget accordingly. If there is error, we simply assign the error to our error variable and then displayed it in a text widget wrapped by a center widget. And if there is data, then we assigned our snapshot data to a variable named product which would be a list of products that we got from our get products function. After that, we will return a list view dot separated widget to display the list of products and a product tile widget to display each individual product. Product tile is a function that we have already created to show the products. Here you can see in product tile function we are taking the product as its parameter. In our product class, we have multiple properties like ID, name, description and so on. We are using these properties in our product tile function to display the product. And at last, we return circular progress indicator if the connection state is other than waiting, done or active. Now here you can see a loading indicator while the connection state is waiting as we are getting the data from our API. After getting the data, here you can see a single product is displayed first and then two products are displayed while the connection state is active and then all the products are displayed when the connection state is done.